Do you want to grow on YouTube just like Nick Nimmin? That's what I'm doing. Well, Nick's success was not accidental. He worked his tail off to get the kind of results that he's getting now. And in this video, I'm gonna show you five different skill sets that Nick developed to help him grow to over 200,000 subscribers in just under 18 months. I know, it's amazing. Stay tuned, folks, it's Owen Video. Owen Video! Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm Owen Video, teaching you the ins and outs of video marketing. You can subscribe to the channel if you want. We'd love to have you. Just be sure to click on the bell notification so that you don't miss a thing. Nick Nimmin is the best thing to happen to YouTube since the play button. I've been blessed to know the guy since he had like 400 subscribers. I remember watching him years ago being like, dude, someday that guy's gonna pass me up. And it happened! Last year, Nick had 30,000 subscribers and by the end of the summer, he had 100 thousand subscribers and he continues to keep growing what is he doing to keep that fire going let's talk about five things nick is doing tremendously well starting with number one production value first of all let's take a look at this frame notice how nick has three different levels of lighting starting in the back he's got a blue light kind of lighting up the curtains back there and giving a sense of color that satisfies the entire frame. It's from this color that he's able to sort of build out the matching and contrasting colors in the rest of the frame. Then we move up a layer and we get the light coming from his computer screen where we're very clearly able to see that Nimmin sign. And that is something that we've all come to recognize as characteristic of Nick's videos. Finally, that third layer of lighting ends up with this crystal clarity on his face. The lighting on his face enables him to really pop out of the darkness of the frame, but also notice how he, there is no glare on his glasses. I mean, that's, that's not easy to do. You can tell Nick didn't just schlep up his camera and lighting. He took some time to dial this in and it's important that you do the same in your videos. Also notice how Nick starts his video with movement. This is a huge tactic, especially because his branding is get started now. And as soon as you press play on the video, Nick is stepping into the scene and beginning a sense of motion, making the viewer feel like we're moving. Let's take a look. What is going on? My name is Nick. Welcome to another video. I'm going to show you a handful of things that you might be doing wrong on your YouTube channel and we're starting right now. Now another key point of Nick's huge production value is he uses only minimal b-roll. In fact in one of Nick's more recent videos that's doing fantastically well we were only able to notice three different sections of b-roll. So you don't need a ton of footage to make your production value increase. You need to have great content and great delivery. Now, in case you're wondering, Nick is actually using a Canon 80D with a Rode microphone. And we put a link to that equipment in the description box below in case you wanna check that out. With that out of the way, let's talk about point number two, consistency. And to do that, we're gonna dig into Nick's video page on YouTube. So as we go onto Nick's video page on YouTube, we can immediately see that he's uploading a total of one, two, three, four videos in the past week. Let's keep going and look the week past that. We see one, two, three videos uploaded the week before that. One, two, three videos uploaded the week before that, and those numbers just continue on. With an average upload schedule of three videos a week, Nick is constantly triggering the algorithm to bring viewers back to his page. This is very similar to how Hulu or Netflix may release a new show. I know that when MasterChef comes out with a new episode, Hulu puts that video right in front of me because I watch every episode of MasterChef. And just as I stop watching MasterChef when the season is over, if Nick were to stop uploading videos, YouTube would stop sending people to his channel. Therefore, Keep uploading videos as regularly as possible so that YouTube continues to send new traffic to your channel. 
This is a strategy that we call velocity. And if you want to learn more about how velocity works, check out my interview with video marketing expert, Daryl Eves up here. But consistency doesn't end with showing up regularly. It also means showing up with the same look, the same feel, the same pace, and the same power every time you show up. Not only does Nick upload consistently, but he consistently looks great. Where his first two vids of the week are shot in his office studio, third video is a live stream that he produces with his brother, D. D. Nimmin, by the way, has his own channel called Master Your Mobile, and he ranks an eight on the Clooney scale. But even in his live stream, the colors, the lighting, all of that has the same Nimmin feel. So remember, a good channel shows up the same way each time it shows up. That brings us to point number three, which is niched content. Now, when it comes to anybody familiar with Nick Nimmin's channel, there's no doubt what his channel is all about. Let's take a look. I'm gonna share with you five apps every YouTuber should have. I'm gonna give you a list of the best tools to help you grow here on YouTube as a content creator. I'm gonna tell you three things that you might be doing that make people not want to subscribe to your YouTube channel. In just about every single video, Nick is talking about YouTube or YouTube related content. And more specifically, he's speaking to video creators. Not so much to business owners and entrepreneurs. This type of niched content content is so extremely important when building a channel on YouTube. See, when I first started making videos on YouTube, I was uploading videos on any topic I felt like. Now, all of these topics were in the marketing family, but I was talking about SEO, web design, chatbots, and yes, YouTube and video marketing. So when I look at my channel growth, versus Nick's channel growth, we can see that a niche topic like digital marketing is simply too big of a niche to be effective. In fact, I recently had a private conversation with Daryl Eves where he told me this. If your niche is too wide, YouTube simply doesn't know what your channel is about or who to show your videos to. So as an example, let's say that you start making videos about your niche. Let's say it's basketball tips. And you make a couple of great videos, you get a few thousand subscribers, and you're doing really well, and then you get bored. So now you start making videos about baseball. Well, hang on. Now all of your basketball subscribers are going, I don't wanna watch this. So they don't click on your new uploads, which means YouTube doesn't push your videos out into the newsfeed, and your channel starts to die a slow death. Et tu, Brute? <laughs> that strategy kills your velocity and makes it harder for your channel to get momentum. Now, again, if you want to learn more about what velocity is, you've got to check out this interview with Daryl Eves. Take a cue from Nick Nimmin and select a niche where you can build a whole library. And if you want to start making videos outside of that niche, put them on a different channel. Hey, what's your channel's niche about? I'd love to know. Drop a line in the comments below. Now, this brings us to point number four. My good friend Brian G. Johnson wrote a book, and in chapter four, he titles it, Win the Click. Win the Click means that before someone can even watch your video, they have to click on your video, which means they have to pick your video from a long list of competing videos in the related video section or in the YouTube search results page. The only way to win that click is with high impact thumbnails. Let's take a look at Nick's thumbnails and see what we can learn. When we go to Nick's homepage, we immediately see that all of his thumbnails have a branded, similar look to them. This is super important for creating visual authority online. You'll notice that most high performing YouTube channels have a very similar look and feel across all of their thumbnails. This goes back to my point about consistency. Let's take a look at a Nimmin thumbnail and see what else we can discover about creating a great thumbnail. Number one, a human face. Nick shows his face in every single thumbnail. Be sure to highlight the eyes to make a personal connection with your viewer. Number two, the thumbnail reads left to right. Notice how Nick puts his text on the left hand side of the thumbnail, which is where the eyes of an English speaker will first look at a thumbnail. 
This follows the natural pattern of all English countries. Plus, when viewed in a playlist, the YouTube overlays won't block the title. Number three, contrast. Notice the contrast between the colors in the text and the color boxes behind them. Not only are they nice and big to stand out in the YouTube related video section, but the color boxes help the words to pop out, which lets the viewer know what the video is about. Also take a look at the contrast between the background of the thumbnail, which is dark, and the well-lit Nimmin face on the right-hand side. Remember that a thumbnail isn't viewed in high definition. It's largely viewed on mobile, which is about 500 pixels, or on a desktop where it's only about 200 pixels. So strong contrast will help your thumbnails stand out. And finally, that brings us to tip number five, live video. Earlier, we talked about how Nick Nimmin has a strategy of uploading two regular videos per week and one live video per week. Well, there's a ton of advantages to doing that. Let's take a look. Nick Nimmin goes live every Saturday morning and there's a ton of advantages in going live. First off, you're able to create a ton of engagement with your live viewers in the comment area. And with YouTube's new comment replay, replay viewers are able to share in that same excitement when watching a live video replay. That excitement leads to more comments, more likes, and more shares, which again, puts that video out into the newsfeed. It's also well known that doing live videos helps your video to rank. So when you're shooting a live video, it's quite natural that that video will rank higher in the search engine faster than a pre-recorded video, which is going to give your video more exposure. Live videos also dramatically increase your watch time. Nick goes live for almost four hours every Saturday. When you multiply that out by the hundred or so live viewers that he gets every week, we're talking about thousands of minutes of watch time accumulating on his channel in a single day. And in case you weren't aware, watch time is the single most important factor for growing a successful channel on YouTube. There you have it, folks. Five reasons why Nick Nimmin has grown a very successful channel. Congrats, Nick. Air five. If you want to grow like Nick Nimmin, I suggest you watch this video over and over and over again until you get all those points memorized. You could also check out my YouTube crash course, which is available on my website for only $17. It's $17. In that course, you get eight lessons on how to quickly grow your YouTube channel. My channel may not be as big as Nick's, but I've grown a very successful career by optimizing my videos for sales on YouTube. So why not check out my course? What else does Nick do super well that we didn't mention in this video? Let me know in the comment section below. And hey, before you get out of here, check out some of my other videos where I'll review channels, other creators, tactics, and tricks that you could be using to grow your success on YouTube with video marketing. Thanks for watching. I'm Owen Video, and we'll see you in the next one.